Greetings, gentlemen and ladies. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a little demonstration of my Daz ALS character setup. Well, I've been working on this for the last few days, and I think it is coming along quite, quite well. So this is a Daz 3D character, which has been moved into the ALS movement system, and I've also added a few fun things. So basically, there's I just this is just a bit of a of, of a tech demo, a bit of a character demo. I, I think the Daz is the Daz model is working very nicely with ALS. So here's the sprint, here's the crouch, here's the jump, here's the roll. Everything looks good. Everything looks really nice. Um, I've added in a first person camera switch. So there we go. First person camera activates a little HUD view. Uh, zoom out. Actually, when I zoom in, I just actually remove the head from the model so that uh, you get that first person perspective without the, the head uh, internal view being in the way. Um, I've added the overlay states of some of the, I haven't perfectly aligned the uh, location of some of the uh, overlay state items. Uh, and that just has to do with the size difference of the DAS model versus my my uh, ALS versus the ALS model. So there's a slight difference in size there, but it's pretty good. Um, pretty good. Looks pretty good. Even looks really pretty good in in first person view. I gotta adjust the alignment of the gun a little bit and maybe fix the head shadow. Missing head shadow there. Um, not too sure how to do that. I have to figure that out. But uh, it's working pretty good in first person. There's the there's a pistol, kind of not attached perfectly. And uh, anyway, I've also implemented a uh, it's it's a Unreal Engine Marketplace asset called Character Skills. Let me just or oh, let me actually just get rid of the gun. Actually, don't have an unequip option. I did overlay a couple of states. Uh, this is actually uh, a state uh, animation that I used from Daz. So I imported an animation, uh, a Daz animation, into Unreal, and I uh, was just curious how well that would work. And it's decent. It needs some refinement because it's kind of using the ALS legs with the Daz um, upper. It's, so it's kind of a little bit funny looking, but work in progress. Um, the character looks great though, in my opinion. The character looks really great. I haven't added any sort of hair physics or anything like that, so it's just kind of like a static mesh for hair, but that's a, a plan that I'm going to be working on pretty soon. Anyway, uh, the character skills system is actually really, really cool. So basically we've got uh, telekinesis, which works really well, and this implemented really easily with ALS and DAS and everything, so we've got telekinesis here. Um, let's see, it was shift, I think, G. You can do some pretty cool telekinesis things. Rotate. And, uh, whoop, right, that's the wrong way. Up, and then down, and then forward, and backward, and left and right. And throw. Throw the object. <laughs> um, there's also a really cool flight system. Uh, that comes with the character skills plugin. Again, really implemented really nicely and easily with the DAS system. Very non-destructively, non-destructively, non-destructive sort of implementation. Actually, what you see here is an invisible water physics volume within these uh, squares. I didn't bother to put the texture in there, but this is water. Again, this is a part of the uh, character skills. And that's literally what the plugin is called. It's called character skills from the marketplace. And it has actually a swimming system and um, flight, flight mechanics. It's got uh, teleport, teleportation, which is really, really cool. And uh, it's got a super jump, which I, did I implement? I don't think I implemented the super jump yet. Um, or there's got a few other things, but another really cool thing it's got is this magic system, right? So this is a, I believe it's like a lightning bolt Which is pretty cool, and actually this looks really cool, kind of like Oblivion-like in first person. So these are some of like the cool things you get with character skills. Again, implements very nicely with DAS and ALS. Um, comes with a few different types of magical effects. 
two different lightning effects. Let's see here. Lightning. There we go. It's like a fire one. Again, looks really cool in first person. Teleportation again. Boom. Uh, let's see here. What else we got? We'll get out of first person. Kind of like that. Can't really see the flame that well. Might I might change the uh, flame effect on that one. It's not really showing up too well. But what else have we got? Kind of a blizzard effect. Yeah, I'm not too sure why that fire effect isn't showing up. I feel like it was showing up better before. I guess that's not really that important, so. Um, yeah, magic activation. Uh, and again, the character skills um, animation blueprint just sort of plugs in. And let's take a look here. I'll show you guys really quickly. So character skills, uh, we've got uh, the animation blueprint. So basically what I did here is uh, I took the Daz ALS animation blueprint. Actually, that's kind of a... Oh, let's hide that <laughs> so this video can be monetized. <laughs> um, so basically, uh, what we've done here this is a this is a um, uh, this is a, uh, a an animation blueprint that's for the Daz character only, using a retarget pose from Mesh. So we're using a retargeter uh, for Daz to un uh, Daz and, and ALS. Um, which will then, in a sort of non-destructive way, allow me to use uh, the ALS base character. Let's see. Over here, the ALS base character, as you can see, sort of overlaid onto the... Uh, uh, so the DAS character sort of overlaid onto the ALS base character using, uh, using a retargeter. Um, just kind of real time, right? And if I wanted to, I could now very easily go in and and change which uh, which character I'm using for. Let's see, here I got a, a knight, a knighted version of the Daz character in some different armor. So you can see I can very very easily and quickly swap that over, and now I have a character that's uh, well dressed, same character dressed differently. But I could swap it out to a different character if I wanted to, as well. So it's just like very very nice, easy, non-destructive way to use differing DAS character setups, configurations, clothing, etc. on top of your ALS project. Um, yeah, anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this look. I, I feel like the DAS uh, ALS configuration is really actually working really, really well, really nicely. I'm super happy with how everything's coming, uh, working together, let's say. It uh, took a few days to figure out, but uh, yeah, I think it's produced some very nice results. And yeah, I just wanted to show anybody who's thinking about uh, maybe using DAS and ALS together what sort of results you can get. Pretty good, I think. Like I say, I gotta adjust the positioning on, on that uh, handgun <laughs> a bit, but that should be pretty easy. Um, okay, see you guys later.